What's going on, people? What's going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? This is Rob Gordon, comedian, actor, entrepreneur, proud father, and I'm here to tell you guys about myself. You're probably thinking, like, who are you? What are you, what are you here for? I am the next generation of comedy, man. I'm, I'm here to talk to you guys. I'm here to introduce myself so you guys can get to know me better, and I can get to know you guys better, and we can build a relationship, a long-lasting relationship. So, let's get started. Yes. So I recently had a film that dropped on December 16th on BET called Holiday Heartbreak. It was an amazing, amazing movie. Uh, they're actually running it for the rest of the month uh, through or to Christmas and to the new year. So make sure you catch that. Make sure you watch that. But it was an amazing experience. The, the cast on that was amazing. Shouts out to Mega Mind Media, the production um, team behind that movie. Shouts out to, uh, to Tressa Azarel Smallwood. Shouts out to Charles Jones, the director. Shouts out to Tiffany Yancey, the writer. Shouts out to the amazing crew that actually worked on that particular project and shouts out to my amazing cast from AJ Johnson, Lisa Ray, Michael Collier, Mary uh, Bastra, um, you got Kenneth uh, uh, Kenneth on there, um, Chantel, uh, Country Wayne, B. Simone, my, my scene partner. The cast was amazing, and if I'm forgetting anybody, uh, I apologize. I'm not trying to forget anybody, but it was it was an amazing cast. It was so many people, um, so much of a great cast. But what I will, will say that I remember from this particular movie and an experience that I will always take with me, um, on the days that I did not shoot, A.J. Johnson took me under her arm, and as a vet and as a mother, she showed me how to be a professional. She showed me how to break down a scene and how to actually deliver a scene objective or what a scene objective was. So she would come to me prior to her filming her scene and she would say, I, I want you to tell me what my scene objective is when I finish the scene. And every time she would come over to me, I would probably have, you know, 50, I was 50% right, 50% wrong. But in that moment, I learned how to be an actor. And I will always take those moments or that moment with me for the rest of my career. As well, I actually had the opportunity to ride with Michael Collier on like down times or going back um, to the room times. And he would just kind of break down to me, you know, just the art of being a stand-up comic and how to be a stand-up comic and the way to be a stand-up comic and the things that he's learned throughout his long career from performing on Venice Beach to actually performing in comedy clubs, man. And, I would take these experience with me for, for experiences with me for, for the rest of my career. It was an amazing experience, and make sure you watch them. Out. Describe my character, Young Mike. So Young Mike is a young player, man. Uh, he got all the ladies, he got the women, but he's also a family man. And um, because he is a family man, uh, his indiscretions get the best of him, and they start to eat at him, and they start to eat away at him. And you can see that kind of deterioration through that scene, the opening scene of the movie. Um, but he turns it around. I, I'm not going to tell you too much uh, if you haven't seen the movie, because uh, I want you to go watch the movie on BET. It's actually playing from now to the rest of the month, so make sure you go tap in and tune in with that. But um, Young Mike is... is He's 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 kind of going through this change. He's kind of going through this this shift. I mean, he he wants to be, you know, in a certain light um, and and deal with deal with this one particular woman. But at the end of the day, he still has a value in and um, with his family. Um, so he, he he still values his family and wants to go home and be with his family. And you'll see that you'll see that in that in that scene. So. Make sure you watch my character, Young Mike. Make sure you go watch Holiday Heartbreak. It is now on BET. Yes. Something else I got going on right now, you can tap in, tune in right now to Amazon Prime. I got my stand-up special on there. Yeah. It's called Problematic, man. So let's talk about it. Problematic, man. My life is problematic. Look, I went away to college. I came back home, and I'm a baby father. Problematic. You know what I'm saying? So my whole life is problematic. So if you watch my special, you can see... You know, my, my matriculation, my maturation as a young man up until now being a dad, a proud dad. And um, it's on there. It's, it's, it's there. I tell you about my life growing up in Washington, D.C., how it was to grow up in D.C., the trials and tribulations that I went through there as well as in college at Hampton University on up to my career and my career path as a, you know, outside of entertainment before I kind of got into entertainment or as I was building my entertainment career and working in the, family, in the family business and then having my son. So those are some things that you can expect. Make sure you go ahead, tune in, tap into my special on Amazon Prime, Problematic. It's also on iTunes and Google Play, so make sure you tap in with me. Future projects. Yes, let's talk future projects. I got a couple things that I'm working on. The things that I can talk about. Um, 
I got a production company that I'm starting at the top of 2021. So we're looking at coming out with a couple of different projects from that. Um, so, you know, more stand-up specials, films, short films, a lot of stuff on that. And then I got a lot of stuff on the rise as well. Uh, commercials, movies, uh, television. But because of contractual purposes, I can't necessarily talk about it yet because I don't want to mess the bag up. You know what I'm saying? I got to go get the bag so I can talk about the bag. So I will see you guys again and we'll have another platform and opportunity to talk about it and talk about what I'm working on. But contractually right now, I just can't speak about it. So I appreciate you guys and let's build a relationship, a long lasting relationship. Remember the name, remember the face. You're going to see me again. I promise you that. What can you find me? You can find me on all social media platforms as it's Rob Gordon. I-T-S-R-O-B-G-O-R-D-O-N. Facebook, it's Rob Gordon. Instagram, it's Rob Gordon. Twitter, it's Rob Gordon. Clubhouse, it's Rob Gordon. Hell, you can find me on uh, uh, OnlyFans. It's Rob Gordon. Just, man, just follow me on all social media platforms, man. I love y'all. Let's link up soon. Peace and love.